Hey, what's up? Black Friday is just around the corner. And Christmas is getting real close too. So it's the ideal time to look for some great deals online. Let's take a quick look at 5 must-have accessories for your Canon R7. Okay, so let's start with the basics. You'll need to be able to save your photos and your videos somehow. Actually, why don't camera manufacturers add in internal storage to their camera bodies? How great would that be, right? But I'm dreaming. We'll need an SD card, or actually SD cards, since the Canon R7 has dual SD card slots. Now there's a lot of different brands with multiple options available. Now I actually got away with using a single 128GB UHS-1 card from SanDisk for a very long time. But lately I've been doing a lot of 4K video recording, so I decided to add a couple 256GB UHS-2 cards from Lexar. These are the V60 cards, so they're not the fastest you can buy. But with 250 megabytes per second speeds, they're quick enough for anything you throw at it with a Canon R7. I highly recommend these. The battery life is really good on the R7. It uses the LP E6 NH batteries, and these have been around for quite a while and are also used in the R6 and the R5. Now these should last you about 700 photos or a couple hours of 4K video recording. You can of course charge the R7 through the USB-C port, but in general it's always a good idea to have an extra one of these with you when you're not near a power outlet and you don't have a power bank with you. It's usually recommended to get the original batteries from Canon, as they will last the longest. I've got one extra for my Canon R7. But there are of course other alternatives available that are more reasonably priced. For example, I was able to get two of these Baxter batteries for half of the price of just one of these original Canon batteries. And it comes in this nice red color too that really fits to the rest of my setup. Now it might seem silly, but I actually think this is a must-have accessory for the Canon R7. Hear me out! You can take out the SD cards from the camera and plug them into your computer. But what about the devices that don't have an SD card slot? Or maybe you're just like me and you prefer to edit your photos on your iPad? You can connect to your camera over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and transfer your photos in that way. But it takes a bit of time to set up, the transfer speeds are not that fast and it's not that reliable. But it's nice to have and I do use it sometimes. You could also get an SD card reader. This will work on anything, but you still have to remove your SD card from your camera. With a USB-C or Thunderbolt cable, you're able to connect your R7 directly to your device in order to transfer your photos and videos. So all you really need to take with you is just one cable, and you probably have one already anyway. I opted to get a Thunderbolt cable because I also use this with my external SSDs and I really enjoy having that maximum transfer speed. Now I'm also hooked into Apple's ecosystem, so I went with their half meter cable. There are of course alternatives and I'll link them down below. And while you're down there, please subscribe. It would really help me out. If you're into recording video, you're probably looking at getting a microphone as one of your first accessories. There are so many options. Shotgun mics, wireless mics, USB mics, lavaliers, etc, etc, etc. They can be really affordable, but also just flat out expensive. So it's important that you do your research in order to determine what's best for you. For the past couple years, I've been using the Rode Video Micro. It's a great little inexpensive shotgun microphone with excellent sound. And actually, I'm recording the audio for this video with it right now. It's just here, outside of the frame. It also comes with a dead cat, which is great for run and gun, especially on rainy or windy days. I also love the red accents on it. If I would need to buy a microphone right now though, I'd probably go for the Rode VideoMic Go 2, because that one also can connect to mobile devices and laptops thanks to the integrated USB-C port. So it's kind of like having an updated video micro, but one that's more versatile too. But the R7 also has a multifunctional hot shoe on top. So you could go for Canon's DM-E1D microphone as well. It's fully wireless, you won't have to connect any wires. Just mount it to the hot shoe and you're done. 
It's quite expensive for what it is though, and I think I'd rather wait to see some alternatives. Or you could go fully wireless with the Rode Wireless Go or the DJI Mic. Now I don't have these in my setup, but if I were to pick one, I'd probably go with DJI based on some of the reviews that I've seen. Better safe than sorry, right? The last thing you want is to drop your precious R7 off a cliff while you're trying to get that perfect golden hour sunset shot. You might have noticed these black and red discs hanging at the sides of my camera. Now these are called cuffs and they're part of a genius quick release system made by a company named Peak Design. Here's how it works. You attach these cuffs to the sides of your camera where you would normally put your camera strap. And voila, that's it. You now have a quick release system. You can now easily attach and detach camera straps much more quickly to your camera. Awesome, right? I've got two of their straps, the wrist strap and the slide light. Now the wrist strap is just like the name says, it's a strap for around your wrist. And if you ever happen to drop your camera, the strap will tighten around your wrist and stop the camera from smacking into the ground. And it's also a great anti-theft thingy, because no one will be able to snag your camera from your hands. The slide comes in two versions, the regular and the light. This is the light, it has a slightly thinner strap. They both have this quick adjuster which makes it really easy to change the length of the strap. Now I wish I had gotten the regular one because I think it has a bit more padding and it will be a bit more comfortable with heavy lenses, even though this light does the job just great. So there you go, 5 awesome accessories for a Canon R7, and actually for any camera really. Now there's a lot of handy accessories still out there, so I'll definitely keep making these kind of videos. So that's it for this one, if you like what you see then don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.